to do, 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 add another argument to the build building task. So that would be the, uh, let's say, the BUI building equals uh, building. So that's the building argument for the building task is going to be this building object, which is a part of the module that we're building. Okay. And then in the, let's just close the other tabs. Um, in the build building task, let me just copy this stuff. Put that in here. the hardest building to building. It doesn't make a huge amount of sense, I guess, but we'll we'll roll with it. Yes, position. This is going to be a table of x equals number, y equals number, uh, the location, the building. Oh, Adam, you're trying so hard to be helpful. Defines dot direction. Okay. Whittling. See, if Adam was really helpful, they would uh, flip whenever I misspell building, whittling, and put it in the correct uh, direction. That would be really helpful. Uh, okay, so uh, once we have achieved it. Oh, crap, we're doing a place building task. Rawr. Okay, building, uh, yeah, building equals this dot, uh, self dot, oh crap. I'm using this and I think in here a lot. Yes. Okay, fixed it. Uh, okay, so building self dot building. Okay, and then place building task. So it takes a type position building direction. Oh, what do you know? Same fucking arguments as we took before. I am repeating myself. Okay, great. So we created the entity self dot place equals entity. Okay. Great. Uh, if self dot building, as in uh, we provided a building, so let's say not nil, then uh, we're going to associate the building and building entity uh, equals the entity. Um, and what this is going to do is on the table that we have all the way up in our in our module here. Um, I'm not sure this is what I want. We'll see. I don't know if this is going to work uh, for multiple instances, just because I don't totally understand Lua. Um, anyway, so in here, we're gonna, it's going to add another property for the entity, and that'll be a reference to the actual game entity. Um, hopefully that will work. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to just make, make a note of what I still need to implement here on my notepad. So this is the collect module output. Uh, 
the fuel building task. Um, and then the wait for output task. Um, and I realize that this is, uh, it's kind of a cliffhanger to leave you guys on, but <clears throat> it's now about 10.30 Pacific time and I got to get up early and go to work again in the morning. So thank you very much for hanging out. Um, Thanks very much to Exclusive and Jord and Undead Graduate for, for uh, chatting with me. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you will know that I have split the episode up into 15-minute segments. Um, uh, nobody has told me if that's good or bad on it or not yet, so uh, I'm just going to keep doing it until someone tells me it sucks. Um, so yeah, please uh, continue watching if you're interested. Uh, give me a follow. Um, on either YouTube or on uh, or on Twitch, um, and and yeah, have a good rest of your night. I'll see you next time uh, as we continue to try to write an AI to play Factorio. Bye, everybody.